Hi, I'm Nick Ingham. I'm the Deputy EPCI Director for Baltic Power. Hi, I'm Krzysztof Zygmunt. I am Deputy Package Manager of WTG Package. As most of you will know, onshore wind in Poland has been going for the last 20 years. Since 2003, developers in Poland have, have been building onshore wind farms and Poland now has approximately 90 onshore wind farms. But thanks to our shareholders, Olen and Northern Power, here we are today representing Baltic Power to tell you more about the heart of the wind farm, the wind turbine generator, or as we call it, the turbine. <laughs> Christoph and I are here today in Gdynia, where behind us you can see some onshore turbines. And of course, these blades are much smaller than the turbines we'll be installing because our blades will be much larger and much heavier. Because the turbine is so big, it's able to generate up to 15 megawatts of power. So just to put this into perspective, one turbine uh, is enough to power 20,000 Polish homes for one year. And in total, uh, we can power 1.5 million Polish homes per year. We are as big as the biggest conventional power plants in Poland. As I've already mentioned, Christoph and I are experts in the wind turbines themselves. And we're going to tell you a little bit more today about what exactly is a wind turbine. Because I'm sure many of you just see hills full of turbines, but don't know exactly what they are and what they do. So Christoph, perhaps you can describe a little bit more about the wind turbine and its components. So the three main components of the offshore wind turbine are the tower, the blades and the nacelle. The tower is this big tubular structure which supports the nacelle and the blades and is put on the foundation. Then on top of the tower we put the nacelle and the nacelle is the heart of the turbines. It has inside of it all the crucial elements which support transferring the energy from the wind to electricity. Maybe Nick, you would like to say more what's inside in the nacelle. Thanks, Christoph. But before that, I want to explain a little bit more about exactly how the blades, like the blades behind us, work. So think of the wind turbine itself very much like a fan. But rather than using electricity to make wind, we use wind to make electricity. So as the wind blows, the turbine blades capture the wind and its kinetic force or its energy and using high and low pressure this turns the turbine blades. The turbine blades then go through a series of gears or gearbox inside the nacelle and then onto a generator where the electricity is produced. In order to gather as much energy from the wind as possible, as efficiently as possible, the blades are getting longer and longer and the area which is covered by the full rotor is as big as uh, six football fields and the blades are as long as 115 meters. We really have to champion uh, and give some praise to our partner Vestas because uh, whilst the blades get bigger and longer um, they also get more difficult to design, more difficult to manufacture and more difficult to install offshore. So my colleague Christoph has already explained to you the size of the components that we're dealing with. And what I need to add is that through offshore wind, we can install much larger components in an offshore environment. And many of you will have seen on social media videos and photos of turbine blades being transported through small towns, small cities, stopping traffic uh, with great difficulty getting them to the final location. And of course, there is an upper limit as to how big these components uh, can go. The components that we're using on the Vestas B236 50 megawatt turbine are so large that they simply cannot be transported through the Polish towns and villages. The only place to install them is offshore, in the offshore environment. Imagine then that you have 76 of those palaces of culture in the area of 130 square kilometers of the sea, something like 23 kilometers from the shore. This is our offshore wind farm. The towers themselves are approximately 120 meters tall, meaning that the hub or the center point around which the blades spin is approximately 140 meters above the sea. And the nacelles, well, how big are they? Well, imagine the size of a small house. We're installing 76 of these offshore. That's how big they are. And when my colleague and I, Christoph, visited the Vestas test site at Ørstedal in Denmark, we were quite simply amazed at how big these turbines are. They're far bigger than anything else on the market. 
The nacelle is roughly 10 meters by 10 meters by 30 meters. So it's as big as big home or small block of flats. If you get there, you have a lot of equipment, but you have also enough space that you could really take a party or wedding there. A wedding, okay. Body Power is going to expand its scope and we're now going to offer weddings in the, the turbine cells. <laughs> So where are our wind turbines going to be manufactured? Well, of course, we will be using the existing supply chain from Vestas, using suppliers around Europe. But I'm extremely pleased and extremely happy to share the news that our components, or some of our components, will be manufactured in Poland. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means Polish jobs for Polish people creating Polish products in this market. We are the first project in Poland to be installed in Baltic Sea, but we very strongly believe that it's just the beginning and in the coming years we'll see more and more gigawatts being installed near the Polish coastline and more and more Polish homes being powered by green energy coming from offshore wind in Poland.